on into a huddle to decide the next course of action. India Today gets you the inside story of what the board is mulling over. Now to begin with, there are various options in front of the board as far as filling the spots vacated by Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals is concerned. But one thing is sure that the board cannot have a six-team tournament. The BCCI could either take the two franchises under the umbrella and run them as Team Chennai and Team Rajasthan or the other option in front of the board is to float a fresh tenders for both the franchises or even take Kochi back in the fold and issue tenders for one more team. A string of meetings are being planned over the course of the next few days between BCCI President Jagmohan Dalmia and IPL Chairman Rajiv Shukla. Okay, let's get a word from Rashesh who joins us from Mumbai and also my colleague Shrisha who joins us from Chennai. First to you Rashesh. You know, even if they were to plan, uh, even if they were to relaunch these teams under BCCI supervision, what would be the kind of hurdles that we are looking at or the challenges for the BCCI team management? Uh, multiple options, uh, Smita, that the board is exploring at the moment. Uh, you know, the, 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 the finality to it would be given in the IPL Governing Council meeting, which happens on Sunday. Uh, but, uh, you know, one of the options, of course, is for the board to have a couple of teams which are suspended under the umbrella, like you said. But the, the, the primary hurdle of it is that there could be an allegation that this is another scenario of a possible conflict of interest. So we've been speaking to various existing franchises and, uh, you know, they believe that if this sort of the board goes ahead with such a step, you know, this uh, the board itself laying down the rules and then uh, coming up being guardians of those teams in those two years there could always be the allegation of bias and uh, and to them justice should not should be seen to be done so you know that there's the the very basic premise on which the Chennai Super Kings uh, conflict of interest came to light uh, right. the board would be repeating that so I think that is something that they need to guard against and the other is the financials as well the board will have to pay for the, the finances of these two franchises uh, and then running the entire operation of these franchises and that as we know is an expensive affair so I think that is also something that the board has to look at but but it's, it's an option on the table and it's something that the board is going to deliberate on once they meet uh, in the governing council you know shisha two of the teams that have of course uh, been uh, the, the clamp down for two years who have been suspended the rajasthan royals and chennai super kings two of the past winners and the strongest teams perhaps in the ipl uh, what are you hearing from maybe you know the chennai super kings team management are they planning to maybe appeal take take to the legal resort in this case well, of course, Smita, that is one option that's left before them because uh, this, this uh, according to uh, the CSK team, in fact, they see this as a harsher punishment and, you know, it's very unfair to uh, suspend uh, Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals. So, yes, of course, they will be taking uh, uh, towards what the legal team would be saying and, and we, we do know that uh, the BCCI, uh, you, know, you know, whatever uh, Rasisha has been mentioning about the legal options left before them. But on the other hand, yes, of course, because uh, it also comes as a sense of just hold your thoughts for a second. For, uh, uh, if know, I could just tell our viewers that we are getting, of course, live visual of Rajiv Shukla at the moment. Remember, it's a meeting that is uh, now on between BCCI President Jagmohan Dalmia and the IPL Chairman Rajiv Shukla. Several camera persons could be seen, of course, trying to ask a question or two to him, but we do know that there is a gag of sorts as far as the IPL is concerned. In the mo uh, For now, of course, a very measured responses coming out and measured responses being given, but Rajiv Shukla completely quiet when media persons tried putting forward a question or two to him. Shisha, please go ahead. Well, Smita, I was uh, just like, explaining that, you know, yes, of course, the CSK team, uh, you know, sees this as a harsher punishment, in fact, uh, uh, you know, for suspending the team, in fact, for one person's involvement uh, in this entire uh, scandal. But on the other hand, yes, uh, of course, according to the sources, there have been like closed door meetings that have been happening uh, since yesterday, since the time uh, uh, this verdict broke out. So, yes, there are legal options uh, that they are looking into. And on the other hand, uh, how this is going to turn up uh, for Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals, and we do know what Raj Kundra has said. But on the other hand, Mehpin has not spoken in anything yet and there is no uh, statement in fact uh, what uh, uh, you know Mayapan has to say on this though the lawyers have been arguing uh, that there are a series of things that uh, the Lothar committee didn't take into consideration and they gave right. a harsher punishment uh, and also suspending the Chennai Super Kings uh, is something that, that remains to be seen what is going to happen in fact uh, you know it also if I can tell you what uh, CSK's uh, suspension mean for Chennai is that it's a great sense of disappointment for the fans in fact uh, because you know Chennai Super Kings has been doing really well 
uh, in this matches and uh, in all these matches in fact in the, in the last uh, few few years yes. and this of course uh, what did chennai super kings do, do did you know did uh, for them to face such a harsh punishment is a question that's been raised uh, by the chennai super kings fans and there must be something that needs to be done so that chennai gets to play again absolutely the question being asked is what really lies in store of course for dhoni and company here as far as csk is concerned or maybe even Rajasthan Royals. But uh, just uh, stay with us, both Rashesh and uh, Shri Shah. We are also getting, in fact, some uh, fresh comments from Justice uh, Mukul Mudkal. Anusha Soni, my colleague, spoke to him. Let's listen in. I have with me Justice uh, Mudgal, who was the chairperson of the Mudgal Committee, who had given this uh, entire report to the Supreme Court on which the judgment was based. He's today with us uh, to respond to the kind of allegations that have emerged post the Lodha verdict. Um, Sir Raj Kundra has come out and said um, that he was not given a fair chance uh, to put his side of the story in front of the Mudgal Committee. How do you respond to that, sir? Look, uh, the best occasion for him to say this was when his case was being heard in the Supreme Court. The Honorable Supreme Court could have taken note of such an allegation and maybe found fault with our report. This not having been done with the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court having accepted, accepted our report, I don't see why, how this allegation can be made now. Right. Sir, as far as the entire manner in which the investigation was conducted, were, I mean, were, would you agree and would you say that that was a fair investigation and everyone was given a fair chance? I think that's what the Honorable Supreme Court has held that principles of natural justice were observed and, a, and everybody was given a fair chance. Sir, so one of the basic points that is also coming forward is that parts of the Mudgal Committee report is, are in the public domain and parts of it are not. Uh, what Lalit Modi has also said, there are names of certain uh, you know, high-profile people which are being protected. Do you think that the, the report that your, your committee had submitted should be made public? Look, the Honorable Supreme Court has, for some good reasons, made certain portions not public. Now, it's not one for me to sit upon the wisdom of the Honorable Supreme Court. And therefore, if they have done it, it's for a good reason. And if they are not disclosing it, if, if the Honorable Supreme Court decided not to disclose it, we gave the report to the Honorable Supreme Court. Just as Mukul Mudgal there, of course, is standing his ground. And also, as we were just uh, playing out some visuals of Rajiv Shukla, IPL chairman, a short while ago, let's listen into what he had to say to press persons before I cut across to Borya Mazumdar, our consulting editor, Sports. I, meet, I told you I'm meeting with the BCA president. Let me discuss with him. Then only I would be able to tell you anything. Of course, to reveal the cards uh, before that meeting with Jagmohan Dalmia takes place. But, Boria, you know, as of now, if you look at the IPL format, there are those 10 spots that are approved of. But with these two teams gone, now you're looking at a six team scenario which perhaps can't make up for that mandate of minimum of 60 matches broadcast. So, what is an easier option, you know, with the kind of options that we are looking at, introducing two teams or reintroducing these CSK teams under BCCI supervision, what is a more sort of a uh, likely option here that you look at? You know, there are four options being mulled. As you just mentioned, two of them, four options are being mulled. I can tell you there was a con call between the President and Rajiv Shukla. I can tell you that in the meeting that will happen about one hour from now, because Rajiv is stuck in traffic uh, in Calcutta at the moment on his way to Mr. Dalmia's house. Uh, four options will be discussed. One, first things first, there will be 18 to the ICL, not 16. You are absolutely right when you said it is economically unviable. And that is what the BCCI has already made its mind on. It will be an 18 ICL come 2016. Now, how can it make it an 18 ICL? One, the BCCI can take over the running of the two teams, Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals, from the two companies, India Sevens and Team Jaipur, and do that. Two, if the two teams are, uh, you know, these two teams in place of them, a new auction is done and two new teams are brought in. But there are multiple complications. In that case, will players be released by these two franchises? Three, right. the BCCI can bring in the Kochi franchise. Already I am sure you know that the BCCI has lost an arbitration case against Kochi mm -hmm. and are supposed to pay 500 crores to the Kochi franchise. Now, the, there is a section in the board which did yesterday was of the opinion that Kochi should not be brought in because there is an enforcement directed case against them. But now, under revised circumstances and post Loda verdict, they think that bringing Kochi back is perhaps a safer option than okay. doing an auction and bringing a new team. And finally, one, uh, you know, uh, the fourth option is bringing one new team and bring Kochi back. Yes. That's how the BCCI wants to make it an eight-team IPL. That is their plan. 
all of these things will be finalized in the meeting between Mr. Dalmia and Rajiv Shukla, and then this will constitute the agenda for Sunday's IPL General Council meeting, uh, Governing Council meeting in Mumbai. Absolutely, Boria. Keep a close watch, of course, on the developments uh, as they play out in that meeting in Kolkata between Rajiv Shukla and Jagmohan Dalmia. A short while from now, we will keep tracking all the details. But many thanks for now, Rasesha, Shisha, as well as uh, Boria Majumdar for having joined us with all the updates. Uh, time for a short break now, but on the other side, we tell you about. Uh, an 